This is a demonstration of how to use the rapid response COVID-19 antigen test cassette at home. This video will explain the following. How to set up your test. Nasal swab collection for both adults and children. How to run the test. And how to interpret the test results. Please note that this video is for demonstrative purposes only and is not intended to replace the instructions supplied in your kit box. Please read the instructions for use before conducting the test. This video is for individuals using any pack size of the Rapid Response COVID-19 Rapid Antigen Test Cassette at home. Setting up the test. Bring all test materials to room temperature, 15 to 30 degrees Celsius before starting the test. Wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water or use hand sanitizer. Make sure they are dry before starting. Unpack the test components from the kit. For each test, you will need a test cassette, a swab, an extraction buffer tube, a waste bag, the instructions for use, and a tube stand or the kit box. Make sure all the kit components are intact. The 1, 2 and 5 pack versions of the test have perforated holes in the top right corner of the kit box so that it can be used as a tube stand. You will also need a clock, timer or stopwatch to complete the test. Read the instructions carefully before starting the test. Begin by opening the pouch and removing the test cassette. Place the cassette on a clean, level surface. Label the test cassette for the person who is being tested. Peel back the foil seal from the top of the extraction buffer tube and place it upright in the tube stand. Nasal Swab Collection for Adults Gently blow your nose into a tissue to remove excess mucus and discard the used tissue in the garbage. Avoid using bloody samples, as blood may interfere with the test. Then wash or sanitize your hands again. Check that the swab wrapper is properly sealed. When you are ready to use the swab, Peel open the packaging from the indicated end and hold the swab by the stem. Do not touch the padded tip of the swab to yourself or any surface. Insert the padded tip of the swab about one and a half to two and a half centimeters, a half inch to one inch inside your nose. Using a wide circular motion, roll and twist the swab against the inside of your nostril at least five times making sure to swab all around your nasal cavity for at least 15 seconds. Pull the swab out while twisting and repeat in the other nostril using the same swab. 
When you are done swabbing, do not return the used swab to the packaging. Nasal Swab Collection for Children Children under 14 should be tested by an adult. Follow these instructions to collect a nasal swab sample from a child. Show the child the test kit and explain what you are going to do. Have the child blow their nose and throw out the tissue. Then both you and the child should wash or sanitize your hands. Check that the swab wrapper is properly sealed. When you are ready to use the swab, peel open the packaging from the indicated end and hold the swab by the stem. Do not touch the padded tip of the swab to yourself or any surface. While the child is still, insert the swab about 1.5 to 2.5 centimeters, a half inch to one inch, into their nostril until you feel some resistance. Be conscious that the depth for swabbing a child may be less than the depth for an adult. Using a wide circular motion, roll and twist the swab against the inside of their nostril at least five times, making sure to swab all around their nasal cavity for at least 15 seconds. Slowly pull the swab out of the child's nose while twisting. Repeat on the other nostril using the same swab. Do not put the swab with the sample back in its original packaging. An adult should conduct the remainder of the test procedure. The procedure is the same for samples collected from a child or an adult. Running the test. You are now ready to process the sample. Place the swab with the sample into the liquid inside the extraction buffer tube. Swirl the swab, rotating it for at least 10 seconds to mix the sample well. Squeeze the swab 10 to 15 times by pinching the sides of the tube against the swab while rotating it. Remove the swab while squeezing the tube to release as much liquid from the swab as possible. Dispose of the used swab in the plastic waste bag provided in the kit. Secure the nozzle tightly onto the top of the tube. Invert the tube and add three drops of the sample to the sample well S at the bottom of the test cassette by gently squeezing the tube. Do not add the sample to the results window, which is the longer window above the sample well. Make sure that the liquid, and not air bubbles, come out of the tube. Once you have added the three drops, dispose of the extraction tube in the plastic waste bag provided. Start a timer for 10 minutes and read your results once the timer is complete. Don't read the results more than 20 minutes after adding the sample. Do not move or touch the test cassette while the test is running. While you wait for your results, wash your hands thoroughly with soap and water or use hand sanitizer for 20 seconds. Results Interpretation the test result is positive if there are two colored lines. One line will appear in the control region, C, and another line will appear in the test region, T. It's important to look very closely. Any line in the test region, no matter how faint, should be considered a positive result. The test result is negative if only one colored line appears in the control region and there is no apparent colored line in the test region. The test result is invalid if the control line fails to appear. 
Results from any test that has not produced the control line at the specified read time must be discarded. Please review the procedure and repeat it with a new test. If the problem persists, discontinue using the kit immediately and contact your local distributor. Once you have read your results, put the test cassette in the waste bag provided and dispose of it in your household garbage bin. Keep your instructions, tube stand and kit box until you have used all the tests in your kit box as these can be reused for future tests. Choose Rapid Response. It's simple. 